Hello guys and gals, me Mudahara, and welcome to a video that, oh my lord, will have your content creators crapping themselves. Exactly as I crapped myself with, uh, with that th three week uh, diarrhea baby I had inside me. Now ladies and gentlemen, let me start off by saying this. YouTube has this, uh, YouTube has these problems, you know, these, these demonetization issues. You know, it's why, you're, uh, it's why your creator uh, basically return, resorts to Wikipedia. They have to pay the bills, you know, they have to go to the, they have to use the Wikipedia approach if everyone gives a dollar. You know, the whole, the whole, the whole channel succeeds, right? Now, the thing about it is you can't be mad at your creators for starting up Patreons or anything. Nowadays, making money on YouTube does, is not as effective as it was back in the day. And for some people who have large channels and rely on this as a source of income, they really, really, really need YouTube to not have any more apocalypses. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's why I still, it's why I still have to keep my job and, and truck on with it. Not because I love it as much, you know, I do very much love my job, but because it's definitely a lot more secure than YouTube ever can be. Now, if you don't know what's going on, January 1st, 2020, YouTube's got some new guidelines, all coming from the United States government. What are these guidelines? Well, you can't be family friendly anymore. You might wonder, whoa, Moon, I can't be family friendly? Oof, just, just wait, just wait for this one. Now, what happened over here is there's a law in the United States called COPA, which is a 1998 law that focuses on data collection of people under the age of 13. So you ever understood how like back in the day, even your kid friendly websites had to ask you if you were over 18 or over 13 or under 13? Well, it's because the US actually does not want you to f gather personal information of users under 13 unless they have mommy and daddy's permission. So with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, they've actually amended the law by adding two points to it. I'm going to read you these two points real quick, and we're going to go over the fact of how stupid they are. Point number one, it's broadening the scope to expand the definition of operators, which originally were just websites, you know, that were collecting data, to include creators who publish on ad-assisted platforms like YouTube and to expand the definition, this is number two, of personal information to include persistent identifiers such as web cookies, which advertisers rely on to run ads matched to an appropriate audience, colloquially known as targeted ads or personalized ads. But going back to these situations, if you don't know how targeted ads work, basically they're ads that are formed because you don't have do not track on. They're the most effective forms of advertising. Uh, most creators will cream themselves if you get targeted advertising sent towards you because that's how they make their bread and butter. What this wants you to do is, as YouTube will have to comply to this, they want you to check a, they want you to tick a checkbox that basically will say your video is ad for, or your video is intended, or kids are going to watch your video, or it's intended for kids, or whatever. And once you do that, you automatically get locked out of this targeted advertising, as per these COPA guidelines. So. May I remind you, most of the people, either they're gonna, they're gonna do it and, and lose like what, up to 90% of their income or, or fucking just straight lie about it, which isn't gonna be great because there could potentially, and I don't know if this is passed on to the creators, but a fine ranging in like the 40 to $50,000 range per video or offense. So yeah, uh, can I just say for the record, whose Jewish mom stepped into the internet and decided to fucking ruin it for everyone, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, come on. What is this? What happened? You know, this whole thing about think of the children and whatnot is bullshit. It was never about think of the children. This is some like traditional media method to really strong arm YouTube into kind of destroying the creator as it is. Because this necessarily isn't even a YouTube issue. You can't be mad at Susan. You can't be mad at YouTube because of it. The problem is this goes down to a US law right now, okay? This is actually based on a settlement that had to be made between the Free Trade Commission and YouTube, a $170 million settlement. So let me tell you this, YouTube doesn't want it, Google doesn't want it, nobody wants it except fucking parents who don't know any better and the FTC that sticks their dick into every single thing that's forward thinking. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so far and so forth, this really affects people who are making kid-directed content. So people who have content that's aimed towards children, right? Things like toy reviews, uh, things like, um, you know, those, those stupid nursery rhyme videos that are just cringe to watch, uh, the, the fucking finger puppet crap, and especially if you're a Fortnite content creator, because I know while Fortnite is aimed towards, uh, you know, adults, there's no doubt that fetuses play that game overwhelmingly, the flashy colors help and whatnot, and most of the Fortnite content creators are geared towards kids, you know? Hey kids, check out Season 11's Battle Pass! You won't believe point number three! 
those kind of stuff, right? that, that kind of nonsense, the kid-oriented bullshit, that's getting knocked down. So let me just reiterate. If you were making adult content, you know, content for people who are, who have went past puberty, like me, okay, you were already screwed, okay? Congratulations. If you made horror content, we can't have spooky. You already got destroyed. Now, if you're making kids content, you know, like two years ago, people told me, Muda, you should make kid-friendly content. And I thought about it for half a second before saying I could never be kid-friendly. Those people are getting even screwed. Those people are getting screwed even harder than we did. Like, we got rammed without our, without nobody ever talking to us. These guys are getting, like, double penetrated, you know, in the mouth, ears, eyeballs, everything. This is not a joke. This is, this is straight the reality going into January 1st, 2020. It is not going to be a simple thing. The problem with this law that I have is that it is so vague that it could affect anyone. What do you mean by kid directed? What if I play Minecraft and recreate Ku Klux Klan meetings? Is that kid oriented? Cause the AI on YouTube picked up that it was Minecraft and, and kids play Minecraft. I mean, there is no way that you can have these vague laws and, and go about it and expect it to make any sense. It just doesn't work. I don't understand this FTC YouTube nonsense. Guys, with the, with the way that these laws are placed, anybody Okay, unless you're on like that extreme edge, unless you're like Alex Jones, you're going to be hit. You're going to be knocked down because anybody could throw you in the oriented for kids bandwagon, especially if you're in the video gaming circle. This is one thing that I don't get. And because of this, because of how this is placed, it means that videos in the past will have to manually check if kids would watch it. Luckily, I haven't went into the kids like oriented zone ever in my YouTube like channel. So I don't have too much to worry. I may have to like dig up Minecraft and like games and, and specifically filter them out. I don't know how this works. I don't know how the fines work. Nothing like this is truly explained to us. It just tells us, hey, there's a new system designed to screw over the only group on this platform that was making money. And that was actually surviving in the YouTube algorithm because it's not even about the money if you think about it. The money is secondary to the algorithm. The algorithm now, whoever it was favoring, will not favor them even more. At this point, YouTube and, or, and most websites, this isn't just a YouTube thing. This COPA law applies to whatever platform you use. So you could be on Twitch. Dude, you could be on like, you could be on any website that allows people under 13 to sign up for it. And you're screwed if you're a content creator on that platform. Why? This has to be a thing I honestly don't fucking know. It is the stupidest shit that I've ever come across. And honestly, it just mind boggles me that we've reached this point. The last thing I really have to say before I close this video off, honestly, this is the spur of all these fucking parents who let me become the babysitter to their kids without my consent. If you're fucking bringing life into this world, okay, how about you spend time with your kids instead of giving them a fucking tablet so they can watch me or anybody on the internet? How about you, how about you do that and not rely on the internet to babysit your fucking kids? Because if that was how the internet worked, okay, if, if, if these kids were truly like given the chance to grow up without resorting to the internet videos that they crave and want, we wouldn't have to worry about being fucking children's entertainers without our fucking consent. Even if we're not, like, even if we're not entertaining kids, we're still thrown into that banner. This for the kids nonsense needs to chill out. You really give a shit about kids? Spend your fucking time with them. Don't cause all these issues to drop onto your creators, or whatever medium they are. We are not responsible for people growing up watching internet videos. They're gonna come across raunchy shit no matter what. They're gonna come across anything. This whole nonsense, this whole kid directed, for the kids, all this bullshit, this is just a farce. And that's all I really have to say without getting too heated into it. I mean, the last apocalypse that we had, you know, the last one made sense, I guess. You know, there was a lot of anti-Semitic shit thrown about it, made the entire platform look bad. But this law that popped up, and it's not even YouTube's fault, it's nobody's fault, but the fact that this actually had to pass through the FTC, this settlement had to occur for, for any of these websites to stay is one of the biggest death knells to, to making content on this platform. You know, it was one thing when, they, when YouTube had to tell us, if you're making content for adults or adult-oriented content, we can't have that on the platform. And then slowly over the last few like months, they were like, well, we're trying to make things better for the adult-only platform because they know that they need the adults to actually uh, make money. They need mature content so they can attract the adults who actually have the money to spend on these ads that they keep pumping to them. When you make stuff for children, 
Okay, you know, these ads help because they ultimately go to the parents buying stuff for their kids. Now that you can't advertise to the kids anymore, all right, now that you can't advertise to anybody, now that you can't support any type of content, no matter what the age, who are we making content for? Are we making content for people who are like 60 plus? Okay, pe people who are like, or are we making content for like fetuses? Who are we making, what is the age group that is allowed to function on YouTube or anywhere on the internet? I don't get it. Why do these laws have to be so fucking vague that they can apply to literally anyone? Don't say kid directed, just say everyone, all right? This is some bullshit. Why do we have to have fines in the 40 to $50,000 range per fucking offense, per video? Because well, we're making content the way we want to. We're following a terms of service that YouTube laid out and out of nowhere, the FTC steps in and decides to tell us what we can and cannot do, what we can and cannot showcase what we can and cannot get fucking fined on. That is some nonsense. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this issue blows up even further. And honestly, I hope this issue blows up to the point where people talk, and I can't do anything because I'm Canadian, but I really, really wish if any of you watching are over 18 and live in the United States, please write some emails to your fucking local congressman, your local representative, and ask them to really step against this FTC bullshit, to ask them to step down. Because honestly, this is just complete bullshit that it has to be this way. And this is something that the US government did that affects everyone on an international scale when it comes to the content that's created uh, both by creators and consumed both by you, the viewers. You know what? It makes me glad that I, I still have other avenues of, of making money in my life and, and, and staying stable because honestly, if I was a full-time content creator on this platform and this was my job, it is the most unfucking stable job you could ever have. You know. I love making YouTube videos, but honestly, if this was my job and I kept reading shit like this every six months, it would be such a discouraging thing for me to go on with it. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope the best. I hope the best for a lot of my YouTube friends who, who have this as a job, who treat this as their job. You know, this is something that I hope does play well in their favor. That being said, though, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.